All right, we're in beautiful downtown Truckee. We're at the Tahoe Sports Hub. I'm here with Jacques, one of the managers here. Jacques, this ski wall here that we're standing in is impressive. I don't think I've seen one this big in, in Lake Tahoe. Yeah, our ski wall is definitely one of the highlights of the shop. We uh, are very proud of the ski wall. We have a ton of different skis, and the Tahoe has a ton of different snow conditions to ski. Let's talk about some of those snow conditions. We started out with a bang back in early December, late November. Uh, as of late, we haven't had much snow, but skiing, right, and still really good. Yeah, so this season, you know, we had an awesome December. December was nice and cold. Temperatures stayed pretty consistent. Um, had a little bit of a weird snow condition change in January, but overall the conditions in Tahoe this whole season have been great with the uh lack of snow that we've had. All right, so what are you seeing right now for people? You know, I, I noticed some of the, the, the models here, uh, limited selection. What's popular this year and why? So some of the skis that have been super popular as of late, especially with the warmer temps, have been kind of the mid-fat category, that 100 to 105 under foot. One of our best sellers has been the Nordica Enforcer 104. Um, it's just a versatile ski for the skiers. We have our warmer, um, higher moisture content snow pattern. So having that heavier, wetter snow, a little fatter ski gives us a little bit more surfy feel, a little bit more play, comfortable feel on the snow. So in the warmer temps in spring, we've been seeing these big, uh, fatter skis and, you know, December time we've been seeing a lot more of our carvers and skinnier right. skis so you know with the conditions ever changing we have a ton of different options to get everybody on the hill and happy I grew up back east in Maine and you haven't seen icy conditions until you've skied back east in New England where it's you know 50 degrees one day and then 10 below the next day uh, that makes for some icy conditions oh, yeah. um, in terms of sales right a lot of these are this year's uh, models when do you start to see price reductions uh, or, or things going on sale uh, to specialize with, with the absolute you know abundance of choices that you have here um, you know some of the models they're gonna sell out but when's a good time to shop so that's a great question you know sales season is uh, kind of approaching it is still February so within the um, time frame that we have right now in the year we still have March right March is our big snow year yep. um, from a pricing standpoint package deals can kind of be uh, discussed and you know worked around for um, pricing but uh, you know with the selection of the skis we just have a lot of uh, a lot of variety yeah, a lot of variety with variety we have um, a ton of great options. Yeah, I'm not trying to discount the quality or, or, or the price point because you are very competitive, uh, but you also offer uh, bindings, backcountry bindings. The choices here from the bindings uh, above us on the wall, pretty Absolutely. pretty intense. We have a ton of different bindings, ton of different skis. Um, you know, everything is current, and so uh, yeah, really excited to uh, continue the season and do your snow dance. All right, we'll send it back to you on the South Shore Studio.